Though it's been years since she overcame breast cancer, Tina Washington is constantly reminded of her battle. Tina has lymphedema, which causes permanent and sometimes painful swelling in her arm, requiring compression garments and physical therapy. I have to wear my sleeve every day. I usually, when I'm getting dressed, I put my sleeve and glove on like it's part of my clothes. While removing her tumor, surgeons also remove 12 of Tina's lymph nodes, causing her lymphedema. Facing a similar diagnosis, Emmy Chesses searched for different options. I'm right-handed and it was on my right side. I'm an active mom. I'm four, I was 45 years old at diagnosis and um, I was really concerned about obviously my future. So during Emmy surgery, doctors performed what's known as lymph node bypass, creating tiny channels around the affected area and that dramatically cut her risk of lymphedema. It can be reduced from a chance of up to 40% uh, to a chance of between zero and four percent. It was Dr. Roman Skaraki who performed Emmy's surgery at Ohio State's James Cancer Hospital and Solov Research Institute. For decades, doctors had virtually no options to prevent or reverse lymphedema. Now, two innovative surgeries are changing that. In addition to bypass surgery, Skaraki helped pioneer lymph node transfer surgery, moving lymph nodes to where they're needed without affecting other parts of the body. We, we utilize some lymph nodes that are I guess spare parts, if you want to call them that, that are that are that we can take away without uh, causing harm elsewhere, and transplanting those into the area of the lymphedema. The surgeries offer doctors new options in dealing with lymphedema and patients new hope for a normal life long after their cancer is cured. At Ohio State's James Cancer Hospital and Solov Research Institute, this is Clark Powell reporting.